him down too much to break my vow now i promised the lord that i would make it somehow and now i love him too much to fail him now praise the lord uh, the highest our everlasting father thank you for allowing me to be with you again today and excuse my singing <laughs> i just love the lord let us pray father help your uh, help your people to grow in strength uh, in you and realize you are with them and through the Holy Spirit also in them, in Jesus' name. And you are powerful. I mean, you are powerful. When you're born again, you are the most powerful thing on earth. And you have to understand that. And you can be the... Uh, there's nothing you can't do. There's absolutely nothing that you cannot do. You just follow the steps that God has laid out. Fast, pray, and study his word. And he will reveal it, and you will become strong, uh, just as you would if you were doing any kind of exercise. So please, seek the Lord and his wisdom, and, and seek knowledge. If you shun knowledge, uh, he will also shun you. Uh, because he does not want you to be ignorant. And ignorance is what happened uh, with Adam and Eve. They were ignorant to everything. Uh, uh, they were deceived and uh, because of ignorance, and and here we are today. So uh, don't let that happen. Uh, you have the power to overcome all evil, and if we'll repent, if my people who are called by my name, that's the born again uh, saints, if my people will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive them and heal their land. Well, that's uh, pretty awesome. So, uh, so there's a way out of all this stuff that's coming. Uh, if you'll just do it. Now, in, uh, in Psalms uh, 115, uh, 16th verse, the, uh, the heavens, uh, even the heavens are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given uh, to the children of man. Is that you? Are you a child? Uh, are you are are you a children? Uh, are you one of the children of men, mankind? There, it, this is yours. Okay, you have responsibility, and you have power over it when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. When you're baptized in Jesus' name, filled with you have that power. You are Lord. Of the earth, the devil doesn't have that. He only fakes it and uh, makes you think he does. You have the power. You can become a strong and mighty warrior in Christ. Work towards that goal. Now, uh, <clears throat> I, I was not. Uh, uh, it was not given to Satan nor any of his followers, but to the elect. The born again sons of God, which is what you are. So, knowing you are given charge over the earth, what should you do? Looking around, have you done uh, have you done a good job? That's not all your fault. <laughs> uh, it, it is not so much that uh, that you have failed, but rather that the that the devices of Satan have crept in and spoiled it. But now that you know about it. You can do something about it. So Satan uh, has slowly and methodically crept in and taken over many high-ranking people, including the presidency. Ephesians 6:12, uh, for we wrestle not against uh, flesh and blood, but against powers, oh, well, against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. That would be the high places in our government and many others. Now the rulers of darkness are the demons and devils uh, working with Satan. 
the spiritual wickedness uh, are those who have uh, have given themselves over to worship uh, their father, Satan. So, uh, <clears throat> now why would uh, human beings give themselves over to Satan and demons? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, even, uh, you know, uh, many rock singers and things like that have given themselves over uh, to uh, to Satan uh, for lust of, uh, of money. So, I mean, it's really simple. And, uh, of course, uh, a lot of them die early. Uh, <clears throat> and the uh, wages of sin is death. So, uh, even Jesus was tempted uh, at his weakest point, seeing after a 40-day fast, he was uh, very hungry when Satan told him uh, to turn the rocks into bread. Yet he, knowing the devices of Satan, see, he's, he had knowledge. That's what, that's what, that's what your victory is going to be. You have knowledge of things, and then you have uh, power over it because you understand what's going on. Uh, yet he, knowing the devices of Satan, rebuked him and said, Get, uh, get thee behind me, Satan. Uh, but we are not Jesus, so, not by any means. I mean, he was the only perfect man, and thank God <laughs> that he was. I mean, you know, we, none of us should boast anyway. I, I don't care how close we come to that point. Uh, we should, we have no room to boast. If it wasn't for Jesus, we would have no salvation, period. We would be just like the angels and or Satan. I mean, uh, we're doomed, and we were until he came. Therefore, when Satan uh, comes, uh, comes, he draws many away with lust of the flesh and lust, of, uh, uh, lust for money and other power. And uh, you can receive power from him. You know, that in, the, in the Bible there, there's, uh, well, I don't want to go into that. I mean, there's, well, I don't think that's necessary. The, the deeper you go into uh, to Satan worship, the worse, uh, the worse you become. Allowing devils and demons to uh, to come into your body and uh, eventually controlling your com you completely, and you get enough of them in there, and, they, and you're in the background just watching everything like a movie. So uh, even if you're still in there, and that's not always the case either. And uh, so there's a little more to uh, the zombie thing than the, than you realize too. I don't know if I'll get into that or not, but uh, now, uh, now a good example of how how this is done. We're we're coming pretty close to it right here, though, is when the when the Antichrist is killed at uh, at his very last breath, the soul of that man leaves the body. Now there were devils in there, demons. Uh, for this man, at this point, Satan himself enters uh, enter, enters his body and possesses it, and that's how a lot of uh, uh, high-ranking uh, officials and, and things they uh, they're taken uh, through the Illuminati and other uh, means, skull and bones, and all the other satanic groups, and uh, they're taken and uh, and uh, right at their last breath, uh, their soul leaves and they're and uh, a demon, a devil comes in, and if from that point on, uh, uh, you'll notice a change in them. And you've noticed. Uh, look at Miley Cyrus. Uh, you can look at two pictures of before she became one of them and after, and uh, you just the expressions on her face and and how far she's gone. Uh, pretty well tells the tale. So there's a lot more going on than you realize. Uh, now this is, uh, 42 months into the, into the tribulation. That's when that happened for him. But, uh, see that that's what happens all the time and, and, and people don't realize it. And, uh, uh, this is how many leaders are done, uh, once they have given themselves over to Satan. And, uh, when you get devils, uh, controlling you, uh, uh, you've lost control yourself. Uh, was that, I don't, uh, one of the singers said that uh, she's uh, when she's on stage. Uh, I forget who it is. Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, she says that uh, this uh, this demon, and uh, she had a name for her, 
she has, she says her name. It says she wishes that she would just take over because she does stuff that she couldn't possibly do on her own. So that's uh, that's the kind of uh, uh, mentality they have, and uh, that's why they keep drawing closer and closer, farther and farther away from. Uh, as a spectator, uh, they is what they become. And uh, those demons do take over. And then uh, they don't care about the human being. And uh, there's so much going on. And many times, uh, <clears throat> let's see, this is how many leaders uh, are done uh, once they give uh, themselves over to Satan. And many times why they uh, are trying to reduce uh, mankind, even themselves, for at this point, they are no longer human. Hope you understand that. Many things our government is doing, like uh, so-called chemtrails, is uh, is to cause cancer, death, and even prevent uh, the ability to get pregnant and uh, to kill you because uh, it's contaminating everything: the food supply, animals. No wonder everything's dying around us, although it's foretold. Uh, God told us uh, in the in the Bible, in Hosea, that he would, uh, you know, if we turned away from it, he would take that stuff away. And that's what he's doing right now. And if you can't see it, uh, I mean, it's happening all over the world, although they, they're, not, uh, they're not telling you about it. Although I posted a few videos that uh, shows you what's going on. Uh, not my particular ones, but uh, Jason A. Uh, he's uh, he does that. That's his uh, job to do that. Now you could go on and on and on uh, uh, with this train of thought, but you should have uh, the basic understanding now, at least, and why they care little uh, about uh, about their own lives. Even the Pope said he was only going to live uh, another a, a couple of years. Uh, he knows that. Uh, he's the beast. So uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, that's because the devils are in him. Uh, now the word of God tells us uh, it will be as uh, as in the days of Noah. Uh, this uh, this also means that the human genes are, are corrupted with the Nephilim genes. And the Nephilim, actually, I probably shouldn't have worded it that way because they're, they're, they're actually angelic beings or... Uh, uh, what used to be the sons of God, but once they fall, they're not the sons of God anymore. They're they're demons. They're devils. The, these are the terrors uh, who are, who are who are already in the population, and believe me, they're they're here, and uh, you can't tell them. Some of them you can't tell apart because they've been manipulating uh, our genes and all for for many years, and uh, and they've refined it some. From, uh, the beginning from Jared's time, uh, uh, who was the seventh from Adam. And that's when they came down and uh, cohabitated with women and had the Nephilim, which are, are their offspring. And they're called many things in the, in the, in the, in the Word of God. Uh, 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 many, uh, which you cannot tell from true humans, now, there are other, other things that they're doing, but uh, uh, to know that they're there, uh, you know, you don't know who you're marrying anymore. I mean, that's how close we are. Uh, because all 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 flesh was corrupted uh, in uh, before the flood. That's what the Bible tells us. But while men slept, uh, his enemy, oh, well, uh, Matthew 13, 25, I should give you the... <laughs> Uh, but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat. Now that's what we've been doing, and went uh, and went his way. Now that's what we've been doing. That's what the saints have been doing. We've been sleeping. We haven't. We've. Uh, we need to wake up. It's time to wake. And uh, so, uh, <clears throat> so why doesn't God just uh, just come and destroy the tares? Well, there's a good reason for that. Uh, Matthew uh, uh, thirteen twenty nine, but he said, Nay, lest while you gather up the tares, 
he root up also the wheat with uh, with them. And in Matthew 13, 30, let both, both grow together, which is what's happening right now, until the harvest, and in the time of harvest, I will say uh, to the reapers, gather ye uh, together first the tares, and bind them uh, in a bundle to burn them. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to burn in the lake of fire. But the wheat uh, into my barn. And that would be uh, you into to the bride chamber. So, so even now, looking at the world, uh, you can see the separation uh, being performed uh, of the wheat and the tares. The darkness is getting darker. And uh, those of the light are shining brighter. Uh, even if you're not moving forward, your light, uh, there's a light in you, which is the Holy Ghost, uh, that is shining. But is it shining enough? Uh, not if you want to uh, uh, have victory over this. And this is the separation. Uh, is your light shining brighter? It needs to be. Will the reapers that the Lord send uh, uh, the reapers that the Lord sends to gather you uh, see your light uh, that you will be saved? For the tares shortly will burn in the lake of fire. And those are the nephilim. Those are the ones that that's the that's that's the weeds, of the, uh, not the harvest. You're the harvest. Okay. You're the wheat. Fast and seek the Lord with all your heart, praying always in the Spirit. That's praying in tongues. Uh, Ephesians uh, 6, uh, 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. See, uh, and watching uh, thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. In Acts seventeen twenty seven. That uh, that they uh, should seek the Lord, if haply they might f uh, feel after Him or go after Him, and find Him, uh, though He be not far away from uh, from each one of us. And uh, what that's saying is uh, that He's right there beside you, and all you have to do is call on Him, and and that's what He's waiting on. He's waiting on you to call. And he is not far away, but rather at your side, waiting for you to cry out to him and ask him uh, into your life. He wants to be a part of your life. He created you for that purpose. Now, if anyone has uh, has a need, just ask while, while we are praying, and, uh, and the Father will grant grant your request. Uh, for you are, uh, for you're not praying alone, but you are rather uh, in agreement with me. And where two will agree is touching anything in heaven or on earth, it will be done for you. That's God's word, and He answers. So uh, let us pray. Now, Father, we come to you now, Lord, oh God, for everyone that hears this or that hears about it, and uh, uh, God, uh, uh, we we need uh, strong Christians now that will seek your face, oh God, that the power of the Holy Ghost starts manifesting all over America and all over the world. Let us lead, oh God, that revolution, oh God, that that will change this thing back to you, Lord. Locundeka loco shaka tabaka skarakata te. Lokinga kokanda kasaka tabako kaka. Lehu kushikanda kebu kutika tabako te. Ladu boka shanda kalaka saka tabaka ka. Loko shoko tabaka te kitibika ke. Elado In Jesus' name. Whew. Praise the Lord. How, uh, I thank you for uh, listening to me again and listening all the way through this. And I hope that it's given you some knowledge uh, and some understanding of what and, and why people uh, do what they do. 
and one of the satanic worshipers always uh, conjuring up spirits and uh, just like the Hindus and, and many others. Uh, there, it's all, uh, uh, there's only good or evil. And there's only God's people and Satan's people. So it, it doesn't matter if you're Muslim or if you're the uh, Catholic uh, or if you're whatever you are. If you're, if you're on that side of the fence, you're on the left side of the fence, you're a goat. The goats will be judged, and they're all satanic. It doesn't matter what they call themselves. And the Christians, the saints, will be the only ones on the right side. So be a saint, and be a strong saint, and your reward will also be great. So uh, well, God bless you. Until next time.